Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to optimize the performance of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 with keeping the game looking pretty. First, open Steam and in the shop find, find the game, scroll down a little bit and find the minimum and recommended PC requirements or system requirements and make sure that your PC at least uh, passes the minimum requirements or your game wasn't op won't open. In perfect situation your PC passes the recommended uh, requirements and you don't have to care about your performance because the game will run well even on the highest setting. If that's not the case, this video is for you. Now. I recommend installing uh, the AMD Adrenaline software which will allow us to tune the game to our needs and also update our drivers better or quicker and this is much more easy than installing them manually. If you don't have the drivers installed in this box there will be a button to install them. The, the software will guide you through the process really easily. Now, uh, if you don't have the software, just go to Google and write AMD Adrenaline Download. In most cases, the first link will be the correct one. Just press download and uh, go through the setup wizard. Now, uh, we can also use the in AMD uh, performance tuning and we have few options like performance and quality if your uh, graphics card and uh, PC in general is a bit on the lower end I would recommend putting in the performance mode but I have tested out the quality mode and it doesn't really change much so uh, for my graphics card I'll leave it on default and tune the game uh, inside. So I will leave it at default. Test these options, performance and quality, uh, which uh, will work for you best. Use it. Okay, so we have this sorted out. I'm closing the application. And I will show you my in game settings and I will explain them on the way. I will also turn on the performance overlay. Okay, it's open. We will see the performance of the PC and the FPS, and we will be able to be a judge if the settings work well. Okay, first, when you fire up the game, uh, it's better to do it from the menu. Uh, not from the game itself because you will have to restart the game and that will take some time and it will get boring so first get the settings graphic settings here uh, depending on the your graphics card if it's a bit on the lower end a bit on the higher end you have to uh, adjust the resolution. I'll leave it on uh, full HD because I, f I don't see the difference uh, between the 4K and full HD. I'll leave it at that. I think it works well. Window mode, it's preference. Uh, I will get to that later because we will get to advanced settings and tune each one of them by itself here vsync this is really important i would leave it on off because this affects performance really much uh, if you turn it on on uh, you won't uh, see the frame tearing if you leave it off you will see some frame tearing on lower fps this setting is really also really important this uh, this is a field of view setting 
and this just means that uh, the lower the value uh, the lower uh, FOV will be and uh, your PC won't, ha won't have to generate as much of an image this affects performance a bit resolution scaling this is an uh, upscaling technology by AMD the FSR uh, it works pretty well in this game the blur the blurring is not that noticeable I set it on the quality setting but you, you can experiment with balance or the performance mode I'll leave it on quality mode and set the sharpness to the highest setting because uh, uh, for me in, uh, for my graphics card the game looked pretty well these two settings are your preference the motion blur and ne near the OF okay let's confirm now let's go to the advanced graphics settings here I would set the object quality to high if you have a mid-range to high uh, PC I would leave all these settings to pretty much high and the most important uh, settings from here are the lighting this is the biggest performance increase increase if you lower the setting I, I will leave it on medium same from shader quality I would also leave it on medium or high if you have a higher end PC shadows uh, this is not this is this is minor performance increase uh, from my experience I'll also leave it on medium textures this solely depends on your uh, VRAM uh, in your graphics card uh, if you have a um, 8 g gigabytes plus uh, in your graphics card leave it on high on even ultra because uh, the game will runs well uh, this is out on H HGB plus H 8 gigabytes plus of uh, VRAM and I set it on high and it worked pretty well this this settings this setting affects the uh, clouds um, the fog stuff like that I would leave it on medium to low because this uh, setting has a pretty much uh, one of the biggest performance uh, impacts in the game I'll leave it on medium for, for me vegetation detail this uh, has an effect on the grass trees like things like that uh, I'll leave it on medium too I will go through the settings once again so we can copy them let's confirm and now let's go back to the game and watch our FPS the ideal amount of FPS is about 60 plus Okay, so we fired up the game uh, as you can see we have the upscaling on so some blurring is still there but uh, the upscaling really improves FPS but from what, what we can see the game doesn't really look bad and we have 130 FPS that's really good we can walk around of course the FPS will drop in major cities and towns and that's where that's where you have to uh, tweak the settings a bit for example you can uh, switch the character uh, character detail to low because this will work well uh, when uh, walking with uh, in the city and there's a lot of NPCs that will wor work really well when you tweak the the character detail to low, or the, but I will leave it at high for now, and that's pretty much it. 
as you can see the game works still pretty pretty well and we have stable 120 110 fps the game so that is it for today's video if you considered the video helpful leave a like subscribe and maybe leave a comment thanks for watching